Greetings everyone, the good tonight here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the rather fancy Tokyo Marui MTR. So, what we got here is a pretty interesting thing. It uses the same Z system and everything as my Mark 18 CQBR Block 1 that I've modified already extensively. But what we got here, the MTR, it's basically a fancy, uh, beefed up M16, more or less. It's competition setup, so the barrel is fluted and it's incredibly lightweight. Trigger is very uh, straight and been modified from the original. The grip is more or less vertical. You've got your M-lock rail. There's the inside fluted barrel for weight reduction. Spray painted flat brown. So you got this cool little uh, muzzle brake here. And yeah, you got your top rail that covers all the ways across. You got this modified um, charging handle and you have M8 dexterous controls. So that's all pretty cool stuff. It uses your standard Tokyo Motori uh, Z system magazines, which are pretty neat. Those click into place, and everything is pretty cool. So, what's there to note? Well, the barrel's longer than the uh, CQBR, and um, yeah, I mean, extra controls. It's got this cool stock that you can swap the uh, thing on here if you really want to. But there's honestly not all that much to say about it. You got your markings. And yeah, so it's definitely different than the Mark 18, but, you know, it's really up to you whether or not this is the kind of thing you'll be into. The Mark 18, being significantly shorter, is easier to move around, and when you're playing airsoft, that's a big deal. Longer barrels would generally have more accuracy, as you can have more gas and stuff behind the barrel, but ultimately, it seems that um, Type 4 barrels have exponentially more impact on the accuracy of the firearm than just the length. So. Type more barrel one of these, put in some uh, short mags, you have a very effective DMR. Now most people prefer their DMRs to be cased in 7.62 versus the uh, 5.56 of this, but this gives you an easier use of uh, the same magazines between your team and whatnot, so that's a cool option. So as a designated marksman rifle, this would be pretty fantastic, put a nice little optic on here. And you can hang back with your machine gun buddies and whatnot and provide support fire from a distance, which is pretty cool. Having semi-auto function, semi-auto function is also going to be a lot better than your old school bolt action because now you can get a lot more rounds off and with a 30 round magazine you can still engage in a good deal of combat. You're not going to have to hang out in the back all the time. You could move in and actually do the close quarter stuff. You can shorten up the barrel here. And you have ways to work around with the M16, particularly the old school uh, A4s that I was using back in the day. When you had to do CQB, particularly because all the handguns were being used by the officers and tank crews and whatnot, you would end up doing your CQB in a motion like this with your thumb on the trigger and just coming around corners and trying to clear everything off from there. So it's doable. It's a huge pain, but it's doable. So you might want to leave all the CQB stuff to your handgun and actually get into buildings, then bust this out and engage from a distance. However, this will be fantastic. If you're in the woods or playing a game where distance is key, now in Okinawa, as well as a lot of the fields out here in Japan, which are all incredibly small and CQB orientated, they provide a huge benefit to the uh, speed softers and all those nerds. So if you're going to try something like this, you're going to need a lot of strategy and some clever planning, but the precision is going to help on making those key shots. So get a good optic, and EOTech Voodoo would be fantastic on one of these. And uh, yeah, an Elkan would hurt. Uh, ACOG would probably be your go-to, because you're not going to be doing too much CQB shooting and all that's going to probably be done as a point shooting as opposed to actually staring down an optic that's four times zoomed in trying to hit someone close up and moving. So, that's more or less everything there really is to say about this. I have another video of me uh, shooting this and fun stuff, so you can watch that. It's not bad in any way, shape, or form, but everything I've looked at online says uh, more or less willing to trade. MTR for uh, Tokyo Motor CQBR Block 1, so it's up to you. It's up to your playstyle, man. Ulti I mean, it's a good rifle. It's not really my cup of tea, per se. I prefer my uh, shorter, stubby CQB guns, but hey, to each their own. So hey, sexy gun here. Um, it might be more towards your liking, but video of shooting is good. And yeah, that's all I really have for you guys today. So cheers, stay chivalrous. I'll see you in the next video.